All right, today our goal for lesson 7.3.2 is we want to learn about parallel and perpendicular slopes and then how to apply those um, at a deeper level. I think everyone, uh, everyone knows that a parallel slope just means that the slopes are exactly the same. I'm not so sure everyone understands what a perpendicular slope. So let's take a look at this. So for example, if I had a slope of two-fifths, for example, if that were my slope, then what would the parallel slope be for that? Well, the parallel slope would also be two-fifths. That's pretty simple. The perpendicular slope, though, means that it is the what is called the opposite reciprocal, or I just kind of refer to it as the complete opposite of what it is. Now, you might think that that would be the opposite. That's actually the reciprocal right there. That's the reciprocal part of it, which is 5 over 2. You notice we just took the fraction and flipped it upside down. The opposite, well, what symbol in our uh, system re refers to the opposite? If you're thinking a negative sign, that would be correct. So negative 5 over 2 would be the opposite reciprocal. So that is what a perpendicular slope would be. I kind of think of it as the complete opposite. You take the fraction, you flip it upside down, and then you put a negative sign in front of it if it's a positive. And if it were a negative to start with, then it would become a positive. An example of that. What if the original slope was negative one-fourth? Then the parallel slope for that would be the exact same thing, negative one-fourth. But the perpendicular slope for that would be the opposite which would be a positive 4 over 1. Well, if you put 4 over 1, I'm going to mark it as wrong. Because what is 4 divided by 1? 4. That's correct. If we give you a negative uh, 3 sevenths, then the parallel is negative 3 sevenths, and the perpendicular is positive 7 thirds. If the slope, the original slope is a slope of 5. Then the parallel slope, of course, is 5. But the perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal. If you think it's negative 5, you're wrong. Okay? Remember, 5 is the same as 5 over 1. So the opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 over 5. Does that make sense? And again, if the slope on that were a negative 3, for example, the parallel slope, of course, would be negative 3. But the perpendicular slope for that would be a positive one-third. Hopefully that makes sense to you now. All right, let's move on to the real lesson. Question number 91. Moving down here. Basically what they're showing you is how you get the perpendicular slope. So here is line A right there. You might notice that the rise on this one, which is the shaded portion, is up to and over 3. So up to over 3. To get a perpendicular line, which means these two lines are at a 90 degree angle to each other, this one has to be the opposite reciprocal. You might notice that anytime you have a positive going this way, this one of course has to be a negative going that way. And this one now is not going up, instead it's going down 1, 2, 3, and over 2 to the next spot. So down 3, over 2. So the slope of line B would be a negative 3 over 2. As you can see, they gave the answer of that right here. All right. I want you to write down, just quickly, write down the slope of three other lines and give their perpendicular slope. Do that. And I'm not going to wait for it. If you need to pause a video for just a quick second, do that. Do that. All right. I'm moving on to question... Oh, let's just move on to another page. I think we're all good on that one. Here, now we can get start to use this information. Look at question A right here. Find the equation of the line that goes through point 2, negative 3, and is perpendicular to the line y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 6. Now, if you remember yesterday, yesterday you found how to find the equation of a line given a point and a slope. So if you know the point and you know the slope, you can find it. Well, they give you the point right here. And they give you the information to find the slope. They say that it's perpendicular to this line. Well, what is the slope in this? Y equals m x plus b, where m is your slope. So the slope right here is negative 2 fifths. And a line that is perpendicular to that, as you know, is the opposite reciprocal. Well, the opposite reciprocal of that would be a positive 5 over 2. So if you have a positive 5 over 2, 
and here is your point, then now you can find the equation of line by plugging in your x coordinate, your y coordinate, your slope, and solving for your b. Let's see, what would that look like? That means that I would have negative 3 for my y coordinate equals my opposite reciprocal slope would be 5 halves times uh, the x coordinate of 2 plus b. So now I got to solve for b. So let's see, negative 3 equals, let's see, what would that be? 5 times 2 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, that's nice and easy, plus b. Subtract 5 from both sides, so negative 8 equals b. So the equation of that line would be y equals, we know the new slope is 5 halves x plus, and we know the b now is negative 8. Actually, we would not write that as plus a, plus a negative. So to make that simplify as possible, we just write that as y equals 5 halves x minus 8. So there would be your answer for letter A. Letter B, find the equation of the line that is parallel to the line negative 3x plus 2y equals 10 and goes through the point 4, 7. Well, they just made this one a little more difficult for you, but it's really nothing big. Negative 3x plus 2y equals 10. If you're someone who thinks you can do this without my help, go ahead and pause the video and then turn it back on once you've got it and see if you've got it. If you're someone who's really lost in this, then just pay attention and see if you can do this, and then maybe create your own problem after this. So, you let me know if I've lost you here. This should be 2y equals 3x plus 10. Are you all with me at that point? What did I do to the 3x on both sides? Next... You would have, by the way, if you don't know what I did to the x on both sides, you may want to come in and ask me. Next, you'd have y equals 3 halves x plus 10. Oops. Those of you that say it should be a 5, you're correct. 3 halves x plus 5. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If not, please come in and see me. But you should have done this uh, in some of our Khan Academies, and this should be uh, fairly simple for you by now. So now, there's our equation of this line. We go back and reread. Find the equation that is parallel to that line. Well, parallel means that it would have the exact same slope of 3 halves. So, since we know the slope is now 3 halves, I'm going to eliminate all this, because we don't need that anymore. We've got m equals 3 halves for our line. And now we have a point of 4, 7 as is listed above. So as we do this, we take our y coordinate, which is 7, and we know that's equal <clears throat> to our slope of 3 halves times 4 plus b. So 7 equals, let's see, 4 times 3 would be 12, 12 divided by 2 would be 6, 6 plus b. As we subtract 6 from both sides, we get 1 equal to b. And because of that, we now know that our equation of the line is y equals, our slope is 3 halves x plus 1. That should make sense how we got this answer right there for everybody. If any of that doesn't make sense, either rewatch the video a little bit on this section to make sure you understand that, um, or make sure you come in and see me tomorrow. Uh, the earlier the better, so we can help you with that. Moving on. Question 93. Line L, and you're going to graph these, line L is perpendicular to the line 6x minus y equals 7 and passes through the point 0, 6. So again, get this into slope-intercept form. And you know perpendicular would be the opposite reciprocal, so find out what your slope is, apply your x and y points appropriately, and graph that. Then, line M is parallel to the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 and passes through this point. Parallel, you should now know what the slope means for that. So apply that slope, apply your x, y coordinates, and solve for your b and get your new equation. So you're finding two new equations. <coughs> you're going to graph these two lines, the two new lines. After you've graphed them, those two lines will cross each other at some point on this graph. I want you to find that intersection point. 
in XY format, so make sure you do that. If you needed to, by the way, pause the video back here and finish that, then move on. 94. Let's see if I want you to do this. Suppose the rule for A is Y equals 6 fifths X minus 10. Line A is parallel to line B. Well, that should tell you that's easy enough. Which is perpendicular to line C. If D is perpendicular to line C and perpendicular to line E, what is slope line E? Eh, I don't really want you to do that right now. We're just going to finish up at question 90. Whoops, not 95. We want to finish up at question 93. So once you have that and you've got that intersection point, uh, come on back to class. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.